Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. Before we get into this video, I wanted to share with you my new fragrances that I received for the month from Dossier. So I received three new fragrances this month. Um, Dossier is no stranger to this channel and I have been using them for quite some time now and I have been loving the fragrances that I have been receiving. So I'm excited to share with you these three new fragrances that I received. I've had them now for about three weeks or so. What, well, if you don't know about Dossier, Dossier is a um, luxury fragrance line that offers fragrances that are inspired by some of your well-known fragrances that you know or have heard of, and they are a fraction of the cost, okay? So, they sent me over these fragrances and I have been using them and I wanted to tell you what I've thought of them so far and share with you which are my favorite of the three. So I received two female fragrances and one male fragrance, fragrance and I wanted to share with you the male fragrance first, okay? The male fragrance that I received is Woody Sandalwood. This is what it looks like. And the top notes are violet leaves, middle notes are cedarwood, and the base notes are sandalwood, musk, amber. This particular fragrance is inspired by Lilabo, I believe is how you pronounce it. And let's see what I think of this one. I need to smell it again so I can remember. Okay, this one is like a really musky smell. Mr. Allen smelled it and he was like, mm, okay, that's different. He's not um, normally a musky scent type of guy. So this one has to grow on him. I really like it because I love musky scents, but um, this is one that he was like, okay, I gotta kind of, you know, let this grow on me for a minute. So if you're into like the musky cedarwood type of scents, I feel like you'll like this one. Hey, this may even be a unisex because I'm really into the musky scents. My next scent was Amber, Ambery Mint. This is what it looks like. This one is inspired by Versace Eros. This one smells so good, okay? I really love it. This one is the top notes are mint, green apple, lemon, uh, middle notes are cedarwood and geranium. Base notes are vanilla, amber, and tonka bean. Let's see. Okay, so this one is sweet but light. It's not too overpowering. I really think this one picks up a whole lot of the um, vanilla, amber, and the apple. Yeah. This is kind of like one of those fragrances I feel like you can wear all year round. Some people do the fall fragrance and the fall, spring, do the different seasons, winter. Me, I just wear my stuff all year round because to me it's going to dry down and smell different on your skin. So this is one that I will wear all year round. It's, it's not too sweet, but it's like just enough to give you that classy lady, you know, fragrance. So I think this is one you definitely need in your collection. Now the next one is Powdery Peach. This is actually my favorite of the two. This one is inspired by Jimmy Choo, I Want You. <laughs> the top notes are peach, tangerine. The middle notes are jasmine and white flowers. The base notes are vanilla and patchouli. This one here is sweet too, but it's light. It's sweet, but it's light, but it's strong, if that makes sense. So this one is like, has been a head turner. Every time I wear this, people are like, what do you have on? What is that? So, powder peach, yeah, that's my favorite. Even Mr. Allen is like, ooh, you know, what's that? So this one is my favorite, even though I like the amber mint too. So I really think these are some fragrances that you will like if you're into the fresh, clean, sweet, cedarwood um, vibes. I think you'll love them, okay? So I'll have a code down below for you to check out these fragrances, y'all. Definitely check them out. You know the holiday season are coming up, so 
feel free to shop these fragrances. They'll be great gifts, in my opinion. I know I would love to get a fragrance for a holiday, okay? So thank you, Dase, again, for sending me over these fragrances. And let's get into the rest of this video. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. I am headed out with my friend and decided, let me pick up and chat with y'all for a sec because I'm actually waiting on my friend to finish getting ready. We're headed out to a concert tonight and I'm feeling good, feeling refreshed. And um, I haven't picked up the camera in probably about five, four or five days. So um, I was like, let me pop in see what's going on with the peeps update y'all on what I've been up to and what I have planned for today I have been um just taking a little woosah time gathering myself getting things together trying to um get a little guidance because your girl have been um going through it you know how it is just a lot going on a lot of moving pieces and so, have to take a step back sometimes, get yourself together. Um, in my case, pray, get some guidance from God, and um, some areas, get some directions, all that good stuff. So, um, that's what I've been up to outside of working and the everyday duties and tasks that I have to do. So yeah, y'all, I'm doing all right. Um, super excited about tonight. We actually um, are going to the Fantasia, I think it's Fantasia Joe, possibly Johnny Gill concert tonight. So um, me and my friend talked about it, my friend Lena. I'm sure y'all, I think y'all have seen it before, met her before. We talked about it a little bit like earlier in the week and here we are about to head to the concert i haven't been to the con a concert in a while i think the last concert i went to was like a kim and charlie wilson concert i think so um have never seen fantasia in concert but i've always seen videos and heard good things of how great she is in concert so this should definitely be a good one i'm gonna try to bring y'all along for a little bit of it i course i can't play you know the music too much but i'm gonna bring y'all along for just a smidge but um we both are like we are excited to come and let our hair down just enjoy get some time out of the house um she has kids so she's like girl i need this so let's go <laughs> so um that's what i'm about to do we're probably going to grab something to eat before we go. Because I'm sure it's going to be late when we come out. And we ain't going to be trying to um, stop nowhere then. So we're probably going to figure out what we want to eat before we go to the show. Because mm -hmm. I haven't eaten all day and she had neither. I'm like, I think I had a protein shake and some water. I'm like, girl, I need to eat some food. Get some food on, on my stomach. But um, I was rushing to get ready, so I couldn't show y'all what I have on. Maybe I'll take a picture and insert a picture of what I have on, like all black, and then this little vest situation with some tennis shoes. Comfortable, cute. Didn't want to wear no heels or nothing like that. I'm not even about to play myself. That is not my ministry these days. Heels, no. <laughs> no, so yeah y'all um i just wanted to pop in and speak to y'all for a quick sec <sighs> that's all nothing else is going on yeah so i'll pick y'all back up whenever we get to where we going okay so see y'all later that's what i'm saying <laughs> I don't know Tasia should be going in too now. Girl, I feel underdressed. 
got sequins. Okay. I feel underdressed. So they started on time. Basically.
what's up y'all i'm back i know i kind of left y'all hanging last night but it is the morning after the morning after the concert and let me start by saying we had so much fun as hopefully hopefully you've probably seen in the video i got as much footage as i could and i was like i need to be in the moment and enjoy myself and that i did so let me tell y'all about it so we seen um let me tell you how this even happened i think i told y'all a little bit about it um in the beginning of the video but sorry y'all i'm getting out cozy but uh so me and my friend uh, Lena had talked about, well, she mentioned it to me because I knew nothing about the concert. So she was like, you heard about Fantasia coming um, to the Coliseum. I'm like, no. So she was like, you want to go? So we were looking at the tickets and the tickets were like $300, $400. And I'm like, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Not in my budget. I would love to go, but no. Not my time. We was like, we'll just, you know, watch the tickets, see what happens, and go from there. So, a couple days later, she told me, she was like, tickets, price is still the same. So, I, I forgot about it. I was like, whatever. You know, I'm gonna do something else for the weekend. So, um, the day of the show, which was on Saturday, she was like, hey, the prices of these tickets and went down, girl, what you think? You still want to go? And I was like, I had completely forgot about the show. I had put it out of my mind. I'm like, I ain't paying whatever the price for three, four hundred dollars for a ticket or whatever. Then she kept going back and forth with me, texting me. So I was like, let me just call her because there's a lot going on. So she was like, girl. You can't beat these prices. Let's go ahead and get these tickets or whatever. So then I was like, okay, let's go. No. I text Miss Allen. I said, hey, don't you want to cash out me this money to get these tickets? I mean, to get me a ticket to go to the show. And he was like, where the show going to be at? And I told him that it was in Mississippi, which is 45 minutes away from us. And, um... He ended up, he ended up not responding because he was working and he ended up and I heard my cash app ring. So I was like, I was just so happy to still be on the phone, <laughs> on the phone with my friend Lena. And she was like, uh, no, I told her, I said, oh, oh, girl, I got my money. I'm ready. So she was like, what? You ready? So we ended up deciding she bought our tickets. We ended up saying, okay, we're going to go and go. This was literally hours before the show. Now, I have never waited this late to buy a ticket. But from just talking to different people and knowing history of shows, like, the tickets normally go down the day of the show. So, it was actually to our benefit that we waited to the last minute because <laughs> we were able to get the tickets for way cheaper than what we thought we was going to pay, right? So... We was like, all right, let's go. I had to get myself together. I still needed to shampoo my hair. I still had to bathe Max. And I was like, dang, let me hurry up because I got to find something to wear. So I had to get off the phone with her real quick, shampoo my hair, sit under the dryer, which I normally don't like to sit under the dryer. I normally let my hair air dry when I shampoo it. Um, so after I got my hair all cleaned up, um, I had to figure out what I'm wearing. She's like, what you wearing? I'm like, girl, I'm going for what I know. All black, and I'll figure something else out. I really wanted to do a get ready with me, but... Uh-uh. The way my time was working, I didn't have time to do that. So, I really, really, really wanted to do that, but I couldn't. Because I've actually been doing my makeup, trying some new stuff with my makeup. And... I've been doing my makeup a little bit different than what I think I've showed y'all before, but I'll have to do that another time. But, um, so I ended up getting ready. I drove, and so I went and picked her up. Ouch. 
Y'all, right before I started this video, I hit my leg on my table. And I got a, like a little bump. It hurt. It's so tender now. So I just rubbed my leg and I felt it. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, we ended up making it to the show in great time. Well, to the location. And then we ran into traffic. We sat in traffic for an hour. A whole hour. I was so frustrated, but when you in traffic, you got them cars that decide to go around you and then try to bombard and get back in front of you. And if you don't know, Miss Allen has a transportation service, right? And he is always proud of himself in being a great driver. Him and his dad is so funny. But because he's such a great driver, he's taught me how to be a better driver, right? So, <laughs> me and Lena was heard outside laughing because she was, of course, people were trying to get over in front of us in this traffic, but I was like, no ma'am, no sir. If you're a good driver, you know when people are trying to get over in front of you, you just got to be able to trail close enough to the person in front of you, not to hit them, but close enough where nobody can't get in front of you. Yeah, that was me. So, honey, I... You had to like really be paying attention. Even before I left home, he was like, be careful down there. You know, you got to have your head on the swivel, you know, with just being in a big crowd and, you know, traffic. And I was like, and I told Lena that. And so she laughed at me the whole time. She was like, now this one you should have been recording because this is so funny. <laughs> it was so funny, y'all. I ain't had road rage, but, you know, I was fussing a little bit because the people was trying me they was trying me by trying to get in front of me and i'm like no we didn't set in traffic for an hour you think i'm gonna just be courteous and let you skip me mm -mm. y'all let me know if i'm the only driver like that i don't leave me out here by myself okay don't leave me by myself i know some of y'all do that too <sighs> so um <laughs> that was like so funny so we got through traffic and finally got in there. She had another friend who was already in the concert. And they was like, girl, Joe just came on. Mind you, we just getting into the gate, pulling in. And she was like, Joe just came on. I said, golly, we going to miss Joe. I really wanted to see Joe. But we ended up, traffic started moving as we got in. We ended up getting in, walking in while Joe was performing. But. I think he had only sung like two songs. And so we got to our seat in perfect time. And I was excited about that. Because like, I like Fantasia. I'm not like over the, you know, moon, know every song type of situation. But I definitely know all of Joe's songs. I love Joe. So um, I was like, I don't want to miss the opening act. So he was able to make it just in time for the opening act. So after Joe performed... Um, they had like a little intermission. The DJ was banging. Like he was playing all the, he had us, he had everybody in that jam and dancing up. It was, he was so good. So we was able to, um, take a break. I had to go to the restroom and we ended up, they had a bar. We ended up going to the bar that they had with them expensive drinks. I think I showed y'all them expensive drinks. <laughs> So, um, we were thinking that Fantasia wasn't going to perform a long time, but she ended up performing for quite some time. Because the ticket said the show was from 8 to 9.30. And I'm like, 8 to 9.30? That's quick. But she ended up performing um, for a long time. And she said, during her performance, she was like, I'm about to uh, show out because I'm going on a break after this. She was like, after, I think, her next two shows, she'll be taking a break from touring and music all together. So, she clowned. If you ever been to a Fantasia show, you know she clowned. It was good. We had a really good time. Me and Lena both <laughs> was jamming, dancing. We barely sat down. I'm thinking I'm going to be sitting down, chilling the whole show. Just bobbing my head. No. We was in there jamming. Do you hear me? <laughs> We had so much fun. Um, and we ended up going to 
I think Applebee's was the only thing outside of the Waffle House that was open. So we went to Applebee's after the show. Got us something to eat. Um, hung out a little bit more. And then we headed back home. We ended up getting home, I think, like 1.30. Yeah, like 1.30 in the morning. But it was worth it. We hadn't hung out. Me and her ourselves, by ourselves, ain't hung out in a in a while i don't know ever because we always with like the couples or with some of the other ladies when we hang out so I, yeah that was our first time hanging out by ourselves me and her both are um uh, on the whim type people <laughs> so it was so fun sometimes you know those are the best times like when you just randomly find something to do decide of something to do to hang out those be the best times and we had so much fun but we both felt it this morning for sure we both felt it i'm like girl i told her i said i know you saw it because you performed uh harder than i did because she was like getting down I'm talking about we swag surfing we jamming to all the old school songs <laughs> and she stood up i sat down for a little seat but she stood up the whole time I said, so I know you saw, honey. So we both got up moving slow, moving slow. But uh, we had such a good time. I'll do it again. We actually thinking about going to the reunion tour. We thought about going to that. Now, I don't know if, I think Mr. Allen would want to go to that one. So we may need to see if we can get um some people together to go to that one that's the one where it's like kirk franklin ty trivet the the uh clark sisters tamla man so yeah i want to go to that that'll be i think next month so we'll see if we get to go to that i have to bring y'all along for that one too but yeah, y'all, I just wanted to pop in, give y'all an update on how the concert went. It was so, so fun. Um, otherwise, today, I just got some uh, housework to do. Do a little uh, laundry. And I think that's it. Do a little laundry and get the dishes out the dishwasher. And that's it. I don't even think I'm going to cook today. I, I do not think I'm going to cook today. Before I went to this concert, I had plans on um, cooking something. But mm -mm. I'm going to put my energy into this housework. After I get that housework done, I'm going to see what Mr. Allen want to eat. And we're going to call it a day. Okay. So. Hopefully y'all enjoyed watching this video, my little story time or how my concert went. And um, let me know down in the comments if you've seen um, Fantasia in concert before and how you've enjoyed it. Or let me know if you've seen the reunion tour because I know they've already been to quite a few other states. So let me know if you've seen that. I've only seen videos online of it. And from what I've seen, I'm like, I need to be there. I need to be in the room. <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah y'all this is gonna be the end of this video so i can go get my little housework done and see what else this day brings thank you if you made it this far for watching this video i appreciate y'all i love y'all so much um to all the new subscribers thank you for joining the family and if you hadn't joined what are you waiting on hit that subscribe button okay we would love to have you here i appreciate y'all and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, y'all.